One and only exclusive tonight, the recount has begun in the race for Florida Senate seat District 37. It began early this morning, and here's why. The race between Republican Ileana Garcia and incumbent Democratic Senator Jose Javier Rodriguez is separated by just 31 votes. But the two candidates weren't the only ones running. In fact, a third candidate managed to garner more than 6,000 votes without campaigning. Local 10's Glenna Milberg joins us live from Miami-Dade headquarters in Doral with more on just who this candidate is. Glenna. Well, first, Nicole Cavan, let me just put on the record, Alexis Rodriguez is a real person. He does exist. He was a Senate candidate in this race. He didn't really act like a real Senate candidate, though. He did no campaigning. He did no fundraising. We found evidence today to suggest that he was a, a plant, a shill candidate. And more than that, he might have been part of a network of other planted candidates in Senate races around the state. Alexis Rodriguez isn't here because he doesn't live here. Why is people always keep on coming over here asking for a guy that doesn't live here? Well, because Alexis Rodriguez wrote this false home address under oath when he qualified to run for state Senate. Hi, looking for Alexis Rodriguez. Yeah, Alex is in here. Hold Alex. on a minute. I'll call you right back. Okay? That's Rodriguez's business partner at a diesel repair company. Do you know he ran for Senate? Yeah, I know. What we don't know is why Rodriguez had a sudden urge to run for Senate District 37 and how, with little or no effort, ended up the apparent spoiler. Incumbent Democrat Jose Javier Rodriguez noticed the same last name and Republican challenger Ileana Garcia are in a recount a few dozen votes apart. When we started looking into campaign documents, we found these connections and similarities to other third party candidates in other races around the state. I'm going to tell you all about those, but first meet one of them. You're not it took a while for Celso Alfonso to come clean. He said he dreamed of public service as a child. So at 81, suddenly decided to run for Senate District 39, which Republican Ana Maria Rodriguez won over Democrat Javier Fernandez. Who paid for your flyers? I don't have any flyers. Alfonso does have flyers from the same Central Florida mail house as, yes, Alexis Rodriguez, paid for by a political action committee called Our Florida. That packs one and only expenditure. Who paid for them? Uh, well, we did. We, did, we, did, we have uh, like $2,000 that we put it on it. And who, so you paid for your own flyers? Right. But that's not on your campaign expense account? No. It's not now. I know it's over. What else do campaign reports for both Alfonso and Rodriguez show? Both filed as no party affiliation, but records show they were both registered Republicans. They qualified on the same day last June, listing identically patterned email addresses. Neither campaigned nor fundraised. Both had flyers with typically Democratic issues. Our Florida PAC that funded them has one contributor listed as proclivity with an address that is this UPS store in Atlanta. And that is where the money trail goes dark. And I just want to put out there nothing here that the PAC did, the mysterious donors, nothing about that is illegal under Florida campaign finance laws. The candidates themselves with what we found today might have done some illegal things. That is not for us to say, but uh, our interview suggests that that may be the case. And lastly, I just want to put out there that Alex Rodriguez got 3% of the vote. Uh, the other two candidates are split by 31 votes. The recount there continues. So 6,300 plus voters voted for this candidate who they did not know anything about. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Doral tonight, Local 10 News.